Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look at your next romantic relationship or the person coming towards you. We're going to take a look at how you're going to feel or how you feel about them, what type of relationship it is, and then also any advice that we can get from spirit. So as I'm doing this reading and if it resonates with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And if you like the cards I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see what messages come through from my dearest Pisces. Let's see who's coming towards you. All right, so we have got, wow, we've got the Seven of Cups. So it could be a fellow water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Six of Wands, somebody who is somebody who gets a lot of attention, somebody who's very sexy, somebody who's very good at what they do. Um, they might have a lot of suitors or a lot of people that you know you know are interested in them. Um, this is somebody who may have is used to getting a lot of attention, so they they um, you know they have a pretty nice ego. This is somebody who's going to reach out and communicate with you. This can also be a reconciliation card. Seven of Swords, you may be avoiding this person. King of Wands, you're very attracted to this person. And the Queen of Wands, you might see this person as your soulmate, as your perfect partner, your perfect pair. But you might be hiding, you know, hiding your true feelings from this person. You might be avoiding them currently. Um, yeah, Pisces, wow, the King and the Queen of Wands. You guys could both be business owners. Um, you guys could just share a lot in common. You guys see, you see them as a power couple. But there's something that, I don't know, you're hiding your true feelings. Maybe you're trying to keep it cool. Maybe you're actually hiding from them. Maybe you feel a little overwhelmed. It's interesting energy. Um, you could also feel like if this seven of cups in reverse, you know, this person may have had a lot of options. You might have feel, you might feel a little bit like stabbed in the back or betrayed by this person somehow. Okay. Like maybe they didn't choose you or maybe they weren't giving you attention or maybe they had other options. I'm not so sure. It's not going to be for all of you. You guys know your story better than I do. All right, let's see what type of relationship this is. So we get the four of wands, 11, 11. For some of you guys, you know this is your soulmate. This can also be a reconciliation. The sun, it's gonna be a very happy, vibrant, sexy, awesome relationship. It's gonna make you very happy. And the world, wow, some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. We've got Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio here as well. For some of you guys, you're completing a very difficult cycle. Some of you guys, you're marrying this person or this is a connection that's really, it's going exactly where you want it to. But there's something there with that Seven of Swords energy. Maybe you guys need to talk about something. Maybe you need to hash it out. All right. This person, they want to talk to you. They want to come towards you, Pisces. Advice, Seven of Wands. So to lower your defenses. Two of Pentacles, take your time. Three of Cups. Yeah, there's been some sort of disappointment, heartbreak, sadness. Maybe there's been some vicious gossip about you or this person or your relationship that's really making you like take your time, weigh up your options. But I see here that your advice is to lower your defenses. There's going to be a huge victory for you here. There's a lot of potential between you and this person, Pisces. Okay. And not for all of you, is it, you know, is it a reconciliation? Now for some of you guys, you know, this person sees very clearly what they want and that's you and they're coming towards you and you might feel a bit overwhelmed because this person, I don't feel like, you know, they know what they want. They know how to get it. Ten of wands. Yep. You're releasing burdens. You're ready for something new. You're ready for marriage commitment with the Hierophant card and the magician in reverse. So Taurus, Virgo, Gemini energy coming through. Pisces, you have a brand new beginning. Some of you guys um, with the Magician card and the Hierophant, you guys could be, you know, you guys could be very different or come from very different backgrounds. Just make sure that you guys work on your communication. Make sure you're very clear about what you want, um, what you need. If this is a reconciliation, make sure that, you know, if there's been anything that's sort of been disappointing, um, you know, or hurtful in the past that you guys deal with it. But this relationship, Four of Wands, the Sun, and the World, this is everything. This is amazing. You know, I don't have Pisces in my chart, but oof, I wish I did today. 
Ace of Wands telling me too, this is divine intervention. There's a lot of passion. For some of you guys, you haven't met this person yet. They may be traveling, they might be overseas, or you might not be communicating to this person. I also saw the Five of Coins. I feel like if you know this person, you guys are both feeling like this connection is strong. You guys are feeling this, this strong soulmate bond. And if you, if this is a brand new person for you, Pisces, you might not have even seen it coming with that seven of swords energy. And man, this is going to hit you. This person could be a morning person. This person's honest. You can believe what they have to say. All right. We get controlling. Mm -hmm and giving of themselves. So yeah, this person might also, I feel like this is a very strong masculine energy. Um, we Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. You know, I feel like this person is going to be a little bit possessive and, and controlling, but not in a creepy way. You might also feel that way about them because you guys have this really unbreakable bond here, but this person's also gonna be very caring, loving, and giving. Okay, just watch out for somebody who might overspend. Make sure that this connection is balanced. All right, that you're not giving too much or vice versa. This person might also give money to people, I don't know, like in their family or in their community who need help. Just, you know, they might, they might just overgive sometimes is what I'm getting. Okay. So we get seduction. So attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up. Third party influence, uh, it could be something like that happened in the past, but I'm not getting that it was like a, a betrayal, like you guys were in a committed relationship and they left you. Okay, um, look at that, stabbed in the back, stabbed in the back. There is some sort, there's something here, okay, either that you've been hurt in the past, Pisces, that you need to let go of, um, or they have, or there's something you might have felt betrayed by this person, and I do feel that with you know, what we're seeing here is the seven of cups. This person may have had a lot of options. I'm not getting that they left you, like they cheated on you and they left you for somebody else, but it's like maybe things didn't get off the ground with you guys because they, they were giving their attention to somebody else. So just be aware of this. Some of you guys, this is a heartbreak that you're carrying around with you. Damn, and then we get the snake, all right? So we get competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. I still see this as an amazing connection. Just make sure you guys are on the same page, okay? There might be something that they're not communicating that they need to. So again, don't rush into anything, Pisces, before you have all of the facts. Sabotage, rebuilding, persistent working on it. I do see that if you know this person, they do want to work on this connection. They want to work through whatever this is. For others of you, you know, you may have dealt with somebody who sabotaged a connection in the past. Um, and it may be this person has a really nasty ex. That's what I'm getting. Or they get a lot of attention. So just watch out because I feel like there are people that are going to throw some shade your way because they want to be with this person, or maybe you have a lot of options. So just be aware of that. But I still see this as something that can be absolutely beautiful. But again, make sure you don't rush into it, Pisces. Make sure this is that you guys are on the same page, that there's teamwork, that you guys build each other up, that you share the same vision of the future, okay? Because there may be something here that they need to tell you, or they're not telling you, or they didn't tell you. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love and light. Take care.